Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to build a custom scan based upon the Trade the Markets, the TTM, trend. It's a licensed indicator in your Thinkorswim platform. If you have a Thinkorswim account and you can log in, then everyone has access to the TTM trend indicator. And the TTM trend indicator is an indicator that changes the color of the candles on your chart. Whether you have a candle chart or a bar chart, it will change the color of the candles and it's red or blue. If you want to know how to make buy or sell decisions using this indicator then please by all means contact Trade the Markets. They're the ones who own the indicator, they create the indicator, they're the ones that are going to be able to explain to you how to use it. I don't want you to think that I'm trying to tell you how to make buy or sell decisions. I'm not a professional trader and I don't want anything in this video to mislead you and to think that you're getting buy or sell recommendations or an indicator that shows you how to make trades. Uh, I'm not trying to recommend that you buy or sell any financial instrument and I'm not trying to show you how to trade. My goal is to show you how to customize your Thinkorswim platform so that you can do a lot of the grunt work automatically and spend a lot less time in front of the screens get your screen time to be quality time. Okay, that said, let's dive right into this indicator. On the bottom, I've got an indicator called Scan TTM Trend, and it's based upon the TTM Trend Indicator. So I'll show you now, this. go to Studies, Edit Studies, and we'll click the scroll icon for the custom indicator. And you can see here, what I've done is I've accessed the two values that are plotted by the TTM trend indicator so that I can do some math and build some logic and do something custom with it. And what the code does is it looks for a change in trend from blue to red or from red to blue. And it also adds uh, a two bar follow through as a requirement before it picks up a signal. You can turn it from a trend up to a trend down simply by changing the comments here. You change, you put a comment here and you turn the comment off here and that flips it from looking at trend up follow throughs to looking at a trend down follow through. So let's go ahead and hit apply and OK. So you saw that the indicator just changed. We'll hit apply and OK. And I'll show you on the chart exactly what it's picking up. You can see that the indicator is spiking whenever there are two consecutive bars of red after having been blue. Look at it over here. You've got a series of blue bars and then you've got two red bars in a row and then you get the spike. Again, over here to the right, you've got a series of blue bars, and on, on the second consecutive red bar, you get a spike. So we're, what this is showing you then is when the trend changes for two consecutive bars, the indicator spikes from 0 to 1, and that's what picks it up on the scan. So now you know how to change it from a trend up to a trend down. Now I'm going to show you how to copy and paste this code into the scan, build a custom scan around this indicator, and show you the results. And before I show you how to do that, I just want to give you some opportunity here to view a couple of other videos that I've done. If you don't know how to take the code that I'm going to link for you and download it to your computer and install it on your Thinkorswim platform, I've demonstrated this in a couple of previous videos. One of those videos is called TTS CCI Ricochet Demo. The other video is called Display Name of Saved Chart. Now I'm going to link both of those videos in the annotations here so that you can click on them and learn how to install these indicators on your Thinkorswim platform. 
And once you've installed that and once you've completed the installation into your Thinkorswim platform, then you can follow along with the instructions that I'm going to give next. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste the code from the indicator into the scan screen. So I'm going to click Studies, Edit Studies. I'm going to click on the scroll icon for the custom study. I'm going to select all of the text in the code box. I'm going to right click and select Copy. Now from here we can simply click Cancel twice. And let's move over to the Scan tab of the Thinkorswim platform. I've already got set up a scan for all stocks and all optionable and let's see I've got the last filter set to 25 to 500 and I've got average volume set to a 14 period moving average has to be greater than half a million shares. Now if we click a add study filter and we change the selection from the default of ADX crossover to custom and once that is open, we click on the Think Script Editor tab, highlight and delete the text that's there. We can then right click and select Paste. And just as before, I explained to you, you can change which scan you're going to do by commenting one and opening up and uncommenting another. So only one of these can be comment, uncommented at the time. If you try to uncomment both of them, for example, the compiler will complain with an error. Okay, so you can only scan one of these at a time. We'll put the comment back on. And so this is now going to scan for the trend uh, down follow through. Um, no, you know what? In fact, I'm going to instead do the trend up follow through. So we'll turn that off and we'll scroll down and we'll turn this one okay so now I've turned off the trend down and turned on the trend up we'll click OK and now we're ready to run our scan so I'll press the scan button and wow did we get a lot of results look at that showing 50 out of 80 well we don't need 80 we're just going to demonstrate this very quickly here. So let me save this as a watch list so that we can uh, drop it in and click through some of these stocks to look at them. Uh, I'll name it uh, TTM Trend Scan. And I'll hit Save. And what that does is it makes it available here from my watch lists. You can see this one, the Squeeze Histogram Scan. That was from a previous video. Uh, let's see, we'll do this right here. So TTM trend scan, that represents the 50 stocks that were just returned from this particular scan. So now they're loaded in our watch list on the left-hand panel. We'll click back over to the charts panel and let's make sure that our indicator is lining up. So we'll go to studies, edit studies, click the scroll icon. Yes, it is, uh, no, it is not set the same. So we'll have to turn off the second scan will turn on the first one which is now matching how we ran our scan. So we'll hit apply and OK, hit apply and OK. And now as we click through each of these stocks we can review how the scan picked up. We've got, it's maybe a little difficult to see because you've got candles that are right there on the moving averages but you've got two consecutive blue bars after a series of red bars. And I've left the TTM squeeze indicator up and only because, you know what, if you're doing a TTM trend, uh, maybe you want to complement it with another TTM indicator. There's many to choose from in your Thinkorswim platform. Here you've got another uh, two consecutive bars after a series of red. Let's just click through a couple of more of these just to show you what it looks like. There's another one, two bars, blue after a series of red. Okay, I think that's it. I think you've got the idea. You know what the scan is going to be looking for and uh, 
you know how to get the scan into your platform if you watch those other two videos and you can run the scan you know also you can add other filters to this if you watch some of the other videos that I've done on custom scans then you know that you can add multiple layers of filters so have at it I hope you enjoy this I hope it helps and I hope it helps you to learn how to customize your thinkorswim platform and do more of the quality time on your charts instead of scanning through dozens and hundreds of charts hopefully this video helps you to narrow that list down and you're looking at quality charts thanks a lot everybody thank you for watching this tutorial video be sure to visit www.hon-tech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks, and take care.